134. Hope your lunchtime is going well. We have got some local music now from a young man called Owen Jackson. Uh, you may be familiar with the band Lamp. Well, I believe Owen plays with them. And also, we'll talk about that in a minute with him. Uh, first of all, though, Best of Life is a song he wrote way back when he was uh, much younger, when he was about 18. And it's all about a very personal subject. But he's entered us into the Home Composed Song Contest this year, uh, representing Ireland, in fact. It's an interesting contest. We'll ask Owen about that as well in a moment. Let's have a listen to the song first of all, though. This is a little excerpt from the song. It's called Best of Life. That's an excerpt because it's quite a long song of uh, Best of My uh, Best of Life from Owen Jackson, and this has been entered, as I said, in the Home Composed Song Contest this year. Uh, it's not a fringe event of the Eurovision, which I thought it was, but Owen's going to tell us more if he's got his breath back. Hi, Owen. How are you? Just today, I just ran up a flight of stairs. Probably not the best idea before talking. No, we used so, to have yeah. uh, that problem. Yeah, we used to have that problem with the newsreaders in here sometimes. And uh, when we were up, there was a flight of stairs between the newsroom and the newsread room, and it was interesting. Anyway, it's great uh-huh. to talk to you because, um, first of all, give us a little bit of a potted history on the Home Come Home Song Contest. It's going 30 years, you were telling me. Yeah, it celebrated its 30th anniversary in 2021. Um, a man called Morton from Denmark. He, he set it up with some friends of his, really, from around Europe. From, it's based on the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. And Morton ra- wrote his own songs and always wanted to do something with them. So he set up a contest and invited some people he knew from the Eurovision fandom yeah. uh, to, if they wrote the songs, to contribute. So it's grown from there. And it's still going now, 31 years later. We were actually the first ever entrant from Ireland in it. So, for this, kind of cool. this year? Oh, that's great. And did you find out about that yeah. through sort of Eurovision literature or, or is it fair, fairly well known? I can't say I've heard of myself. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I don't think it's massively well known, even yeah. though it is like, if you're looking at international song contests, it's the longest running one after Eurovision itself. Okay. And so who, who are the judges? A that, for, for itself. That, that's great. And who are the um, who are the judges? I know there's a phone element because you want people to help with that. But uh, who judges? Is, it? Yeah. How does that work? Um, the people who are in it themselves um, vote on the other entries, and they make up juries Eurovision style, giving the voting from one point up to twelve points. And right. um, there's also invited guest juries from the world of Eurovision, like certain um, Eurovision blogs and uh, the, the Eurovision official radio station. They have a jury, and a few other kind of like music business professionals make up uh, guest juries as well. And then there's like uh, one. There's a public vote, yeah. but the public vote only makes up one of around forty juries, so it doesn't have a huge amount of weight. It's mainly, I think a way for them to promote the contest a bit, I think is mm. the main point of the public vote. And the way they do it is there's a link where you can vote for whatever songs you want, as many as you want, and you're allowed to vote once a day for a couple of weeks. And the, the voting deadline for this one ends on Halloween. Okay. And tell me about Lamp Owen. You're still going strong, yeah? I, I wouldn't necessarily say strong, but we're definitely still going. Like we had done a few bits and pieces over the years, um, uh, notably uh, a song for, for the day chef kind of a mix of Sweet Child of Mine and kind of some roaring and shouting <laughs> which uh, went down quite well everybody we had a song in. yeah <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. it was like in 2017 there was our one and there was I think John 
and Stack was another man who had a, a horror right. sound that was quite popular and you know you have to get into the spirit of things yeah, so that's one thing that people might know us from is that um, and also we like mainly go in the studio and produce music and put it up online is mostly what we're doing right. um, the last gig I think we did was Christmas 2019 I think so it's been a while since we actually had an in-person gig but the thing about it is Claude who is one of the driving forces of the band she's like writes the songs herself and myself write it uh, she now has four kids all under the age of seven. Really? <laughs> oh my God, I didn't know so, that. Yeah, she does. Yeah, right, she, she's been busy. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. So, I mean, that's Clodagh's voice as well on your song, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's that's Clodagh myself and my uh, Michelle, another sister of mine, doing the vocals on that track. Good. And um, it's a very personal song for you, that one, isn't it, Owen? Uh, yeah, it is. It's, it's um, like, in general, the song would be just, you know, about sort of like being refancing someone and yet thinking it's impossible. So that's in general what it's about, but more personally to me, it's something that's like, this is something I, I wouldn't have talked about this. Like I didn't like properly come out, mm. I suppose, until 2015. Right. And this song in, in 1993, uh, it was pretty much about... Like I was in school at the time in Warpark mm -hmm. and there was this other boy in the school who I was kind of just obsessed with and that song is about just living in like Ireland in the early 90s and the way the atmosphere was as around like gay was just considered you're going to you know so that's I was wrestling that's with the cool. kind of feelings of of whether you know what how, how my life was going to end out and should I just deny these feelings for the sake of you know um, not being a sinner or not being an outcast or you know yeah. so this was kind of keeping your head down at the time and there wasn't really much support or positivity at, in those days about it things have changed a lot Owen haven't they and like they have indeed yeah I, I mean like basically this is something I couldn't have mentioned what this song was about back then like yeah. I pretty much kept that secret um mostly uh, at the time. Well, fair play to you. Yeah, that's what it was about. It's, it's a long, does that matter? It's quite a long song. Do they, they put any time limit on it? It's about six minutes odd, isn't it? Well, here's, they do have a time limit. The time limit is six minutes. Now, this song is 6.25, so I had to cut it down for the contest. Right. But it, it, it's yeah. in there anyway. And you have it up on YouTube as well. So what's the story? Is there a, a t speaking of time limits, uh, when is the cutoff point for the voting and when is when will the result be out, all that kind of stuff? Halloween is the cutoff. And then they're going to take the time from Halloween until November the 12th. They're taking a, kind of just about two weeks to get their show together. Yeah. They're going to present it as an, an as-live um, event over YouTube. It will be broadcast. Brilliant. And they'll have like proper scoreboard and the Eurovision voting, and it's just gonna. It, it always looks very professional. It's, it's a good show they put on each year, People. and that'll be available to on YouTube. I'm not sure yeah. exactly how to get there. Probably if you like um, search "Home Composed Song Contest 2022," that'll get you. Um, it'll probably be streamed live on the night, or it'll just stay there forever if you want to look at it mm. a different day and see what happens. You know? Brilliant. Okay, well, look, the best of luck with it, Owen. And if people want to vote, they can go on to home-22.com forward slash public vote. And Owen's song is Best of Life, representing Ireland in the Home Composed Song Contest. And Halloween's the cutoff, but you can vote as many times as you like, one, one time a day. Owen, thanks a million for telling us about that and all the very best with it. And good wishes to you and all the Cheers, family. Yeah. You're a fair play to you. Good man. Brilliant. Good man. That's Owen Jackson there. Best of Life is the name of that song. <laughs> 